everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy, and I'm here to read you another story. And I have a book tonight about a dog who loves books. Loves books, just like you and me. In fact, the name of the book is Dog Loves Books. Dog loves books. This is a dog who loves books so much that he opens a store so that other people can come get books. But the people coming into the store aren't looking for books, and he has to teach them why they should be looking for books. We need to get inside this book and find out why dog loves books so much. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Dog Loves Books, written by Louise Yates. Dog loved books. He loved the smell of them, and he loved the feel of them. He loved everything about them. Ooh, dogs a lot like me. I love books, too. Dog loved books so much that he decided to open his own bookstore. He unwrapped, unpacked, and stack the books ready for the grand opening. Wow, he's going to have a bookstore so other people can love books. When the day of the grand opening finally came, Dog had a bath, dried his fur, blew his nose, and threw open the door to greet his new customers. Woohoo! The bookstore is open. Um, but there was no one there. Ah, so Dog tried to keep busy. And then, a lady came into the store. I'll have a tea with milk and two sugars, she said. Um, I'm sorry, said Dog, but this is a bookstore. I only sell books. The lady walked out. Oh no, she wasn't there for books. Dog was alone. He waited and waited. Then a man came into the store. Maybe he'll want books. To ask for directions. When he left, Dog was downhearted. Hmm. But not for long. He wouldn't wait a moment more. Dog fetched a book from the shelf and began to read. When he read, he forgot that he was waiting. That's a great thing to do when you're waiting is to read. When he read, he forgot that he was alone because he was reading a book about dinosaurs. When he read, he forgot that he was in the bookstore. He was in his book going on an adventure with the dinosaurs in the jungle. And when one adventure ended, Dog simply took another book down from the shelf and a new adventure began. Now he's reading a book about kangaroos. So Dog was somewhere else altogether when a customer came into the store to ask for a book. Dog knew exactly which ones to recommend. He knows what people would like because he reads the books all the time. Dog loves books. But most of all, he loves to share them. Wow, Dog did a great job. He taught everybody to love books. The people kept coming into the store wanting other things. And he's like, I only have books. And when they didn't want to read the books, he started reading them himself and going on these great adventures like we do. And then he taught the people that they could go on great adventures. And in the end, Everybody learned to love books. And Dog loved sharing his books. What a great story. What a great book about books. You know how much Miss Dorothy loves books and how much I want you to love books because when you go open a book, you go on such an adventure together, just like Dog did. So I hope you'll remember that. And if you have some friends who don't love books, you should tell them how great books are. You should tell them to come listen to Miss Dorothy's stories because we go on on adventures all the time. You and me on an adventure in a book. And I hope you keep collecting books so one day maybe you have a lot of books just like Miss Dorothy and maybe you can read them to your friends because books are great 
for sharing. And that's why I love to share them with you. But I can't share any more tonight because it's time for all my little friends to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, go find a friend, grab a book, and share the adventure with a friend. And tell mom and dad about it. Maybe they'll sit down and go on an adventure with you. But whatever adventure you're on with mom and dad, whatever they say, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.